It's an attempt, a video, to see what it's like to go up the top of the mast. Looking out there is the Bay of Biscay in March. Why well, going off a mast in the Bay of Biscay in March? I don't know. Anyway, the plan is to go from down there, which is the well deck, to the top. So uh, we'll see what happens. So when you go up to the top, you go on the windward side, which today is on the port. In front of us, that broken bit mass you see is the boom which broke uh, in mid-Atlantic. So the first thing is to get onto the shroud, which is this over here. Okay, so now we're on the side of the boat. We see this wire in front of us. That's the wire you can attach the clip of the harness, which I've got on. But I'm not used that at the moment. Hoping I can get up without that. If you're in bad weather, you'd want to do it. Or if you're not feeling too confident. Climbing the mast is the same as climbing a ladder, just that it moves a bit more than a ladder. You've got ropes and you've got wood, but basic principles are the same. It's now about half past four on uh, Friday afternoon. Nobody else is up here. The only work that was being done has been done. I'm just doing this for fun. Which may be a little bit stupid. Probably is. So we're going up. And we're now getting close to what's called a top. The top isn't the top. It's uh, a platform and there's three of these. So we're on the first one, we'll get to the first one though. And this is where you put on the clip. Although it's not obligatory to put the clip on when you climb in the shrouds, it is when you go over the the top. This looks a little bit difficult because you've got to go leaning back. But everything's quite solid and in fact it's quite easy to do. Easier sometimes than the, uh, the shroud itself. Now we're on to the top. And what I'm going to do this time is give you a bit of an idea of what's on the ship. Keep it clipped on, just in case you get a bit of a kick. So here we have the stern of the ship and the watch on at the moment. Um, so you got the wheelhouse down there. As I said it's uh, in the afternoon so we've got a little bit of a sunset coming. I don't know how this is going to work on the, the video. So you've got the wheelhouse and you've got the wheel behind it. Again I'm too sure how much you see. That mast in front of us is the mizzen, that's the one at the back. And the sail that's there is all very well and good, but it's not the real one because that big uh, boom that was broken is the one that uh, should have been 
hanging over the um, the wheelhouse. That's what we call a spanker. Uh, so we lost that sail in the middle of the night a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago. So turning around towards the front. First sail, the one we went past, the one that's now down there. It's called the course. Uh, course as in the course you set, but it could also be course in the meaning of uh, crew because it's the the basic sail, the first sail that people would have used when they got two sticks together and put something in between them. So this is the bottom one. Today we've got all the four on the main mast. The other one above it is the top sail. The, the working one really, that's the one that's been doing most of the work in a transatlantic trip. Uh, but it's a storm sail, it's normally you know, the top sail would normally be a little bit bigger, uh, but it's a bit smaller in case we hit really really bad weather, which uh, fortunately we didn't. Anyway, and if you look out there, that's towards the, the foremast and the staysails, that's a sail you see. Um, running from left to right on the mast. Alright, so what we're going to do now is go carry on up to the next level. Got to squeeze to get through these things. It's not easy. It certainly wasn't made designed to make life easy for anybody. Alright, so on clip. That was the top, but not the top top, that must be the bottom top. What I'm climbing up now is called the shroud. I always thought the shroud was a little bit to do with sheets, as in what you get buried in. But the shroud is this mass of cables and wires which take you. That's the top for the topsail. If you were going to go out, you'd have to go onto that piece of rope you see there, running from the mast to the yard arm, then out to the end and untie the sail if it's tied up or tied up if it wasn't tied up. So carry on up. Now we have another platform or another top and this because it's in the middle we'll call the middle top. Get on again so that when it's in these sort of positions when you're you've got Three or four places to hold on to. I don't need it. But here is a good idea. Alright, so a little bit higher now. See where we are from the, the top. Again, looking towards the stern. One of the ribs there. We were out on that today, taking some pictures of the of the ship from the from the sea. And that sail you see just at our level now, that's the to gallant. So these are the sails, this for, these four sails are the only it's a long time since the Caribbean we haven't had these four sails out. So that's to gallant. And now we're gonna carry on up.
again a view over to the uh, to the bow. You can see the bow spit down there, perhaps, hopefully, and the uh, the water, which isn't too wild. Very Biscay in March. Should be a bit crazy, but it's not so bad. So now on clip again. And we'll carry her up to the next one. Shakes a bit. What to do with nerves is to do with the fact that it, everything is bendy. The mast, you see, it's the main mast, and it's made of metal. All right, so just going to clip on again now. These cables aren't meant to stop you from falling, these wires meant to stop you from falling to your death. Up. And now squeezing through up on the, the top top. And then again to give you an idea how far everything is down, here we are. There's my feet an idea of a scale perhaps. You see people down there. So, and at the back of the ship, I don't know, that's going to come up. In the red is the captain. So, we're up here and the sail above us now is called the Royal. That's the very top sail on this particular ship. And with a bit of luck, you can see the, the bow. Uh, totally under sail today at the moment, although for the last three days we've been under power. But the wind's come back. And uh, the last I heard, we were doing about eight knots. So that's not so bad for uh, a ship like this it's really gentle. What tends to happen when the rotor's on is that the bow gets pushed into the water so you get a lot more uncomfortable 